Okay, today Kirsten is gonna remember to tweet out the thing before the stream happens and not after, because she's a dummy. Good idea. <laughs> I could not I believe that when I saw that yesterday, the last week, I was so pissed at myself. <laughs> oh yeah, seven minutes after the stream was done, come check it out, and it's like... I was like, gosh dang it! And then I thought we replied with it, it was like, yes, I'm excited to watch this. The stream that's currently <laughs> going on right now. Yep. So ready. Oh, Twitch lets me give you feedback for your stream, lets me choose out of five options. Oh, what are the five options? Uh, it's Können, Hingabe, Humor, Ansprechbarkeit, and re uh, Relatability, which is the only English term for some reason. What is that one in English? <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna hope Relatability is the one you picked, uh, because that is the only one I know for sure. Hashtag they Relatable. Need a, they need to fill in your own option, so I can call streamers cringe. <laughs> they have to look at it. <laughs> they just... Wait, yeah, do you there's... get the feedback if once they send it to you? I think so. Well, oh, it's yeah. feedback. <laughs> I just assume I just... cringe in real yeah, it time. It says uh, that streamers will get the feedback, but anonymously. Oh, interesting. I assumed it was for like Twitch to get it and be like, "Shit, do we need to look into this guy?" <laughs> Hi, Yoshi. Hello. Welcome in. Good morning. Hello. But yeah, the first option was the skill, and I, I've i done this for like four streamers now, and I've never selected skill. Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, e -man. I mean, honestly, I if you select a skill for me, I think I think that was the day something went wrong with Yoshi's brain. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, thank you, Sved, for 12 months. Holy crap. Woo. What's up, Harry? Yeah, we've even. been doing this for a long time. And even just did a 19 month streak. Holy crap. Oh, what? damn. Whoa, whoa. I My can't even count to 19. Down. That's like that's a big more, number. That's more fingers and toes than I have. What? Just Wait. kidding. Wait, what? Just kidding, just kidding, just kidding. I hate that I checked my digits. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I hate it. What were you saying earlier? I think you said. Um, I don't want to say like, uh, um, when I play um, Metal Gear Rising, you know the, uh, whatever chapter Monsoon's in. Yeah. Oh, um, I bought the mariachi outfit right before that because I thought, <laughs> oh, haha, that'll be a funny outfit to wear for the entire game. I got to that part of the chapter. They're very serious, but I was like, I need to quit. I cannot wear this outfit. This is <laughs> you really were wearing, you were wearing the, the, you were wearing the disguise, hard quote disguise. Yeah, I thought it was funny, your, but then there was as, like, as Jack was like having emotional overlay. Yeah, <laughs> so I kind of need to quit out, get rid of this costume, and just play normally again. I don't think you can ever like play normally. Mm -mm. Okay, well it looks like everybody's here except for Kay, and they can pop in when they uh, when they get here. So um, I think we'll go ahead and get started, so we can get through as much as this as we can. Uh, hello, everybody. My name is uh, Kay Kiki or Kirsten or Goggles, whatever you want to call me. And today I might be voicing Maya Fey. Who knows? She's still kidnapped. We'll see if she pops up. I hope she's not dead. It's, it's good to be optimistic. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, howdy, it's me, E-Man. Both, I was voicing Phoenix today, um, by both enjoyment and contractual obligation. <laughs> Glad you spent Hi. the <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hi, I'm Sam. I'll be voicing Edward. Hey, it's Re here, and I will be voicing Pearl and Old Bag, depending on which ones come up first. Hi, I'm voicing Samus from Ace Attorney. The best Hi. character. Hello, I am uh, the social media influencer Matt on God. I hope you're excited. I'm very excited to be voicing him again. That's so true. Hi, I'm Sven, and I'll be voicing Detective Gumshoe again. It's nice Ooh. to know that Gumshoe got over his British cold yesterday. Yeah, that That's... was a strange, strange cold. <laughs> yeah, I'm so glad. I'm so glad he's better. 
You know, there's been this weird cold going around the cast because, like, a couple weeks ago, Francisca was like weirdly like Russian, and uh, and then Gumshoe yeah. was 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 British. Super weird stuff going around. Mm. Mm. And yeah. I'm Yosh, and I'll be watching Will Powers. Oh my God, does Will Powers actually make a return today? Yes. Oh my I God. About yeah. That. He literally <laughs> hasn't been there since the first one. I I keep forgetting. I know. Part of it. Hell I yeah. actually forgot who Will Powers was for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Will. All right, let's get this party started. Woohoo! It's past 9 p.m. already, isn't it? I wonder if Mr. Edgeworth has already found Mystic Maya. All right, sorry, I just shut my door. <laughs> Sounds like you said I had to shot my door, and I was like, what? <laughs> you know, I would, I have a, I was reaching for something to make, like, sound poly, but I'm like, I'm not going to clap a chip bag to try and make a gunshot. <laughs> 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 well, I do, no, I'm not going to, I have a, I was like, oh no, my soundboard's up. <laughs> oh, dangerous. But no, we're not, we're not dealing with that can of worms. <laughs> we're on pace, okay. Things take time. I'd say probably not. The police are professionals, Pearls. They'll find her, so don't you worry. And if we can win a not guilty verdict tomorrow, then everything will be okay. You're right. Sad. With a W or just. <laughs> nope. I. I believe in your power, lawyer powers, Mr. Nick. I know you can bring us a miracle because you somehow do it every case. That we shouldn't win, but we still somehow win. I'm guessing by miracle she means a not guilty verdict. And she wouldn't be wrong either. It will take a miracle to pull this one off. Uh, yeah, fully effects Bree. Yeah, yeah. We, we need a full fully cat, fully uh, system here. I sure hope the miracle would happen. <laughs> miracle does not happen. No! <laughs> Why did the kidnapper have to take Mystic Maya? Why couldn't he have taken me instead? Stop it, Pearls. Don't say things like that. If that happened, the Maya would be hurting, I'm sure of it. Just like how you were hurting now, Pearls. You're right. This is the first time I've ever met someone who loves to eat instant noodles. Something tells me Gumshoe isn't eating them because he genuinely likes them, but... I, he's working so hard, all for Mystic Maya's sake. I'm gonna get him lots and lots of instant noodles as a thank you present! So the real person who killed Mr. Corrida was... The assassin, Mr. Shelley the Killer, right? And the card Miss Andrews found at the crime scene seems to be proof of that. But if that's the case, then a new question comes to mind. Who's the one that hired to kill her to begin with? Who is his client? You mean, who asked for the murder? You can ask for a murder? No, no, that's not possible. No, what? No, no. Oh, no way. darn. Anyways, uh, that person didn't want to dirty their hands in blood. But whoever this client is, they're still a killer. have hired the assassin? Do you know? Do you think it was Miss Andrews? Pearl, why'd you just stare at the wall for a second? What wall? There's no wall here. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder. But if she was the client, then why go through the effort to stab the knife into the corpse herself? But if Miss Andrews wasn't the client, 
then no, it can't be. Matt Amgard himself? No, it was Will Powers. Ooh, plot twist. Freaking phase and reading minds. <laughs> If Mr. Ongard really did hire the assassin... Then he's not innocent at all. Far yes. from it. He'd be, he would be guilty of the crime. But it can't be Mr. Ongard, right? I mean, when we first talked to him... Mr. Ongard, I'd like to ask you one more question. Did you kill Mr. Juan Corrida? All right. Just so we're clear, dude. I didn't kill anyone, and that includes Juan Corrida, okay? I didn't see any psych locks at that time. Actually, that reminds me. Did you remember something, Mr. Nick? Yeah, something Miss Andrews said at the trial today. She said something interesting. Which is my next bullet point. Um, so what is this interesting thing? Oh, that's right. <laughs> you didn't hear it, did you, Pearls? No, I can't hear. I had my earbuds in while I was coloring. Um, had that epiphany from the Jammy Ninja this year. Also, if you're rereading my dialogue, could you please get my name right? It's Samus. <laughs> and if you lost the Grand Prix, he was going to make sure Matt was, um, I don't know, a hexadecimal for that color, sorry, going down with him. That's what he falls anyway. It looked like somehow Han had his hands on a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career had it been revealed. I have no idea if my voice is the same as it was last time. It's been like two months. Oh, mood, but I think you're doing fine, Ari. <laughs> yeah, and it's, 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 pretty, awesome. it's pretty similar. Yeah, I can I attest that it's similar. Miss Mr. On Guard's secret. Well, what is the secret? I want to know. I don't know yet, but for now, let's think about it this way. Mr. Corda was going to reveal the secret. That means Mr. On Guard had plenty of motive to kill to have. <laughs> I jumped to conclusions. Mr. On Guard had plenty of motive to have Mr. Corda silenced. Come on, Phoenix. Think, then talk. Think, then talk. Which means we have to meet with Mr. On Guard. There's no way around it now. When does Phoenix ever think before he talks? True that. You know. Wow, it's really getting late, isn't it? Yeah, it's past 9 p.m. already. We had this conversation before. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but we're still in the same dream? <laughs> Let's walk down this hallway. Huh, didn't we just pass this hallway? <laughs> 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 but we still have some things to prepare for tomorrow's trial. There's still the matter of the secret that Mr. Corda held against Mr. N. About, oh my, about Mr. N. Oh my god, my brain keeps swapping oh, out words. What? I need to slow down. And Miss Andrew's real intentions. These are two things I must know tonight. But aren't visiting hours at the detention center over because it's 9 p.m.? <laughs> mm, I'm, I'm sure we'll think of something, Pearls. Don't you worry. I can fit through the bars. <laughs> 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 Nate said, Phoenix Wright is incapable of thought, only lawyering. Uh, also, hi, Nate. Yeah. Wow, it's past 9 p.m. already. Sorry. <laughs> hey, wait! 
What is it, whippersnapper? All I know is that it has nothing... Anything to do with you is ever good. Just like now, I was handed this strange device for who knows what reason. God, put it... I was told to use it to search the whole hotel. That's... That's the bug sleeper, isn't it? One gumshoe made. I don't know, and frankly, I don't care, but the request came from Edgy Poo Shoo. Edgeworth? And he said, and I quote, If you feel angry, direct your anger at that <clears throat> unsophisticated lawyer. So I'm going to feel free to direct all my anger towards you. Ah, oh, gee, thanks a bundle, Edgeworth. What a pal you are. That's awesome. This is absolutely top secret, so you had better keep it to yourselves. You got that? I heard they found a spy camera hidden in one of the presents. Hmm, very interesting. <gasps> what? I know, Pearls, isn't that just crazy? Crazy. I'm sure it was, you know was to catch poor one in the middle of a scandalous meeting. Scandalous? Mr. Nick, what is that? It means, well, you know, that gossip's been going around about my dear Juan. Oh, you mean that thing about Miss Andrews? I'm sure she must have had some reason for getting close to Mr. Corridor. Huh? you in on another secret, youngin. I know who planted that spy camera. It was that obnoxious puffy-haired photographer girl. The nerve of some people. Spying on people by herself as if it wouldn't want to see it for myself, too. Wow, the alien actually admitted her true intentions for a change. know what you're thinking exactly, but I bet it's nothing good. But I didn't say anything. I just thought... Oh, no. So you want to know about Juan and the manager, right? Actually, as I hear it, they were something of a refreshing pair, those two. Oh? I tell you, Juan really welcomed that manager with open arms, I heard. Mm-hmm. That manager. Who are you talking about? There's only a space bounty hunter here. Okay. You don't know that manager woman one hand? Hand? Had. It's a shame. It's a shame she killed herself, though. Wow. Oh, you're talking about Miss Celeste Impacts. Miss Andrew's mentor, right? Yes, yes, that's the one. That's Celeste, girl. Oh my god, it's Madeline from Celeste. What? No. She was supposed to get married, you know. Married? You mean to Mr. Corda? Really, you young kids today, you don't know anything, do you? That girl Celeste killed herself three days after the marriage announcement. Three days after their marriage announcement? What in the... Why would Miss Impacts want to kill herself? She was gonna get married! Well, that's because... She was thrown away, you see, by Juan. What? But they, they were gonna get married, right? They promised each other, right? They had a grand announcement session, but... Three days later, Juan suddenly cancelled their marriage. 
Is that true? It was in the weekly magazines. But why? Why did he do that? That was not in the magazines, unfortunately. I see. That night after one called off the wedding, that manager Celeste killed herself. How terrible. I wonder what happened between those two. I'm glad the music stopped for that part because I was about to say we're having this this music Serious for the conversation. <laughs> Night, there must have been at least a few hundred people here. I guess the boys are done with their questioning and investigating. Looks like things here in the lobby have finally calmed down. I <sighs> wonder if I stretch out and relax, somebody might assault me. I guess that's a Phoenix Wright moment. It doesn't look like Mr. Scruffy Detective is here. Well, he's out there with that camera asking around all, uh, with that camera asking around at all the electronic stores. Then I'll make some salad for him for dinner and put it in his food bowl. Looks like Pearls really appreciates what Gumshoe's doing for us. Um, Mr. Nick. Hmm? Yes? Where is the lettuce? I don't think I've ever bought lettuce before. I was literally about to say, bold of Phoenix Wright to actually have salad fixings in his fridge. <laughs> well, I guess I have to give up on making a salad then. I just realized this. Does Phoenix live in this office? Does Phoenix live? Like, why would there be a fridge here? Yeah. <laughs> I don't... I... What is I... luncheon? Or like, I don't know, he packs a lunch in the morning and brings it? I will say I am getting a mini fridge for my classroom because I pretty much live in it, so. I Maybe? guess the lack of lettuce is kind of a problem. Don't touch Charlie. Charlie's not lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> I legit thought she was about to be like, I'll just clip some from this guy. Oh, I love it! <laughs> Phoenix screams, No, that's me as planned! <laughs> Ah, uh, it's okay. I'm sure already gave it plenty- gave it more than plenty earlier. Mr. Watering Can! Where are you, Mr. Watering Can? Pearls gets too wound up if she's not doing something to distract herself. Same. Hope Charlie can withstand Typhoon Pearls. <laughs> <laughs> that's- that's really good. She attaches a hose to the sink and then just oh. lets it go. <laughs> oh, no, like a, she's gonna power wash Charlie. <laughs> I don't just wash, I power wash. <laughs> it feels sort of tense in here, doesn't it, Mr. Nick? Yeah, it um, does. I wonder if something happened. Yeah, Mr. Angatanoia, right? Ah, yes, sir. Well, we finally found just the person we've been looking for. A real decisive witness. A decisive witness? You mean for the on guard case? We're talking we are taking the witness's statement right now. Go to hand it to Mr. Edgeworth. What's Edgeworth up to now? Who is this witness? I think you know this person quite well, Mr. Lawyer. When the kidnappers demand to know this, I can't see any way to win here. Oh, yeah. Mr. Edgeworth wanted me to tell you something. He did? I mean, he did? Oh, and now I heard you. Uh, even though visiting hours are long over at the detention center, you know, it's already past nine, uh, he wanted me to grant you a special permission. So, there you go. 
I've already caught them, so they know. Go on, go talk to your heart's content. Thank you very much. This is such good news, Mr. Nick. Nothing could possibly go wrong. Wrong? Why'd you say that? <laughs> um, wrong. Say what? Go I didn't steal the blue badger again. either. Don't, don't look for it. <laughs> say his name. He's staring right at me. Can I take him oh, home? Right. No. Why? Well, actually. <laughs> oh, great. Maya really is rubbing off on you, Pearls. <laughs> you you <laughs> didn't ask me why you couldn't steal something? <laughs> okay, we're moving on. <laughs> Sounds like Yoshi... the police are pretty. Oh. Yoshi just said, why would anyone steal the blue badger? He's a beloved mascot. Everybody wants a piece of him, Yoshi. Mm -hmm. Clearly. Yeah. The blue badger is the Mickey Mouse of Phoenix, right? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like the police are pretty sure they have tomorrow's trial in the bag. What is the trial in a bag? What kind of bag? Ah. Lots of paper or plastic? <laughs> oh no, I'm on flashbacks. Oh, must be the chief of detectives here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? The real killer in the, in the creator murders an assassin? This must be someone's idea of a joke! I can't believe this garbage! Have a little more faith in your own subordinates! <laughs> that must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. It seems as though my true face has been revealed. I was an elite businessman who made deals with the entire world. I was the young successor and CEO of a colossal corporate corp. Fuck, I thought I had that. Colossal corporate conglomeration. But my real self is that of a regular everyday policeman. Is it red white? <laughs> <laughs> Stop doing image training and get yourself out there in the field! Phoenix is really preaching to the choir here. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I am thinking to myself, okay. I'm sure they must have transferred Miss Andrews here by now. So that means that both Mr. Ongard and Miss Andrews are in this detention center. Now then, whose story do I want to hear? Samus Aaron. Oh, never mind. Dude, it's Mr. Wright. I hope you can get me out of... Uh, I hope you can get me off the hook tomorrow. I'm counting on you. I, I hope so, too. Edwards just dropped a bombshell on me by saying... That Juan Porter was killed by an assassin. The assassin's client is... This man. Matt Ongard. What's wrong? Mr. Ongard. There's something I must know with 100% certainty. You seem kind of different. You're not totally like your usual lawyer dude self. Uh, hello, Five Head. Do you think it's true what Edgy said? I don't know. Edrith's... Edrith's Ed Edgeworth. But to explain it, uh, some of us have played the game and we know what's going to happen and some of us haven't, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah funny enough that the Phoenix Wright voice actor uh, has not finished anything past the first Don't worry about it. I played, I played <laughs> Dual Destinies all the way through. I played one in Dual Destinies. I'm, I'm a maniac, I know. <laughs> yeah, oh real quick. Oh, sorry. Sorry, Ree. No, I was just saying he's a maniac, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, these present things, are, am I supposed to do these before the Cyclops, or are these part of the Cyclops? Uh, I didn't list what you need to present for any Cyclops. Okay, I, that's usually how it works, but I just wanted to make sure before I started, like, presenting random stuff, so. His signature item was a guitar. 
<laughs> I mean, dude, what kind of ninja carries a guitar? Um, I'm not someone who would know. When that jams. Dude, it's such a kid thing to do. I mean, just my opinion and all. Isn't your show a kid's show too? Ha, got him. <laughs> he was a bit of a talentless hack when he was alive. Jesus Christ. Okay, dude. <laughs> wow. But, I'm gonna but, say it. He's suspicious. I'm gonna say it. I just saw this. Pearl, you're sitting Very right close. next. But who knew he could play dead so well? Wouldn't you agree? <laughs> well, that's because he really is dead. And quite pitifully indeed, yeah? Dude! <laughs> Holy sh... <laughs> He's landed on! What? He really is. Mr. On Guard? Dude, I know I asked you to be my lawyer and all, but I don't think I have to tell you ever anything and everything. Oh. Uh, um, what do you mean by that? It just means I don't have to tell you anything and everything, dude. We shouldn't have fed his cat! Well, oh, we don't got there, bring the cat into this. His cat yeah. was already fed. There was... Hold on, wait a minute. The cat wait, had nothing to do with it. Wait a silly little minute here, Pearl. When we showed up, the cat was already fed by the butler. There was no reason we had to go there. That's true. That's a good point. We wasted time? Yes, we, we could have been here earlier before 9 o'clock if we weren't sent on that goose chase. But it's 9 o'clock now. Well, yeah, we lost uh, speedrun time. Yeah, like, Pearl, we had our almost our, almost our, had our best run. Yep. And then and we could fucking... implement cat skip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to um you have to crouch, trip over um a parking divider, and then you clip through and you skip the cat scene. <laughs> cat scene. <laughs> oh, and if that doesn't work, your backup is to uh body slam at one specific trash can at a certain angle and you yeah. will work. <laughs> I really hope that I really hope that pan was uh, on purpose. <laughs> the, the cat scene. The cat mm -hmm. scene. Cat scene. I'm kind of scared to show him this card. What's wrong, dude? Oh, um, so about this picture card. Have you ever seen this before? Huh? Never saw it before in my life, dude. I don't think he's lying. Or is he? The only way we'll know is if the game mechanics pop up. And again, he looked like he just gasped just now. Maybe I'm seeing things? Maybe because huh? it's 9 o'clock and you're really tired. <laughs> it's really late. What the hell are you doing out here? Pearls, quick! The Red Bull! Now! <laughs> Any flavor! We're gonna- Oh my god, oh. Got, I'm like, voice cracking because I'm so tired. of Red Bulls around her waist. <laughs> <laughs> quick, I'm gonna shotgun it. I'm gonna use the Bogotama as a can opener. <laughs> okay! I'm gonna shotgun this Red Bull. <laughs> Alright, here you go! Alright, damn, I don't have a fucking can to- crack open right now. <laughs> Shit. Open it's Sunday cold too, cold so cold I don't want to crack open. <laughs> so, crack open a cold one, you know. Um, about the press conference. You mean the one where Juan was gonna dress up as the nickel samurai? Yeah. I heard a little more about it from Miss Andrews. It looked like somehow Juan had his hands, had in his hand a secret so powerful that it would destroy Matt's acting career had it been revealed. Dude, who the hell's Andrews? I only know Aaron. Ooh, 
Could you please fill me on what the secret is? Just please. Oh. And there's the game mechanics. Use the key to unlock one of these Ooh. five hotels. <laughs> dude. <laughs> hey, dude, you look. You okay? It looks like there's some game mechanics on my face. Oh, <laughs> Don't tell me there's game yes. mechanics on his face. Yep, and we need to reference the enclosed instruction booklet. Yep. Cyclox. You said a secret, right? I don't have any idea what it is. Do you, dude? Did you know about Mr. Corda and Miss Andrew's relationship? Well, it's all over the tabloids, dude. Ah. I don't know any of the details, if that's what you mean. Look, how many times do I have to tell you? I don't care about what John... What John? Who's John? John. What's <laughs> 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 <He's laughs> whitewashed in the corner? <laughs> you whitewashed him? That's like Peggy Hill. That's like Peggy Hill saying, like, <laughs> Nice to meet you, John. Juan. I don't care Juan. about what Juan did with his life. <laughs> I think you did. Miss Andrews, she had a purpose in mind when she started seeing Mr. Corrida. Her mentor was Mr. Corrida's manager. Until Miss Andrews was going to get... Oh, man, here we go. Compose myself. <laughs> We're talking about this shit, okay. <clears throat> Miss Andrews was going to get Miss Celeste's impact suicide note from him. Celeste. I love that game. Is that jog any memories? Yeah, that's the trans girl that climbs the mountain, right? That's so true. Dude, I suddenly just got totally hungry. You're for a pizza? My treat. Yeah, wait, no! Uh, I don't know what a pizza is. Is it kind of pea? Like, like green peas? Or, or yellow peas? Let's go eat one later, okay? Like, holy oh, shit, oh. wow, that is... That is a, that is a fucking improv line I always used, but I can't believe it was actual. <laughs> Holy shit! <I'm... laughs> Love you, Ace Attorney. Mwah. Thank you. <laughs> uh, I got cut off by the pizza dude at the shop. That's too bad. Well, how about we get our minds off this topic and talk about someone else, okay? <laughs> Mister On Guard. Are you connected to Miss Impact's suicide in some way? Kinda sussy. Who's a sussy fucker? We're talking about serious topics in the book. <laughs> I'm just saying, this shit's kinda sussy. I, but... <laughs> this is the one of the heaviest shit we've talked about in Among Us comes. So I'm gonna... I'm and it wasn't I didn't even say Among Us. You said Among Us. No, I didn't. You just said he was suspicious. This is entrapment. This is entrapment. <laughs> Nate just said you fuckers are unhinged. We absolutely are. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. I, can we make that our tagline? <laughs> Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney Live Dub. These fuckers are unhinged. <laughs> Brought to you by viewers like you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> we make it on PBS. <laughs> I don't think we can make it on I PBS. We... Does that mean more educational content? <laughs> yes. We're teaching yeah, people how to get their law yeah, degree. Yeah. Well, about the legal system. Yeah. I should not Very. be teaching people stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, okay, we do have one qualified person here who could do that, and that's Re. That, that's I was like gonna our... say that. We're yeah, posting off of Re's credentials. Person. <laughs> we're posting off of Ree's credentials. Yeah, oh, we're actually gosh. just one big person in like a trench coat of like thirteen people, and Ree's the one on top. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm in control now. Yeah, Ree's in control. Oh no. I just I can't I be on the bottom be because I will trip. Please don't trip. I call being legs. <laughs> Are you the white leg or the right leg? So we have to what? say left, and then one person moves, and then right, no. and the other person moves. Middle. All right. I was like, this something, next something line middle leg. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> wow, hello Kay, what an entrance. Hi Kay, Kay's been here for a little bit. Oh, okay, that was just that's how they. That's how they broke the silence. <laughs> <for> <laughs> <real>. <laughs> kind 
just meant like a quadrupedal animal kind of thing. <laughs> oh no! I don't. I don't like. All right. I love this this line transitioning out of this tangent. This is a very important matter. Please, you must tell me. What is this secret? I love the picture of Phoenix just like slamming the Magatama on the dividing <laughs> like screen between the two of them. <laughs> hmm. Well. Hold on a sec. I'm gonna consult my lawyer, okay? What's that? What? Huh? <laughs> Yosh, I see why you put this in here now. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? This is Phoenix Wright. Oh, hey, Mr. Lawyer, dude. Sorry. But you know, dude, I really just don't have any idea, okay? I really didn't care at all about what Juan was up to, okay? So it's like that. Mm. I got no choice but to remove those psych locks. I just say that's like the same tactic my girlfriend does sometimes. I'll be talking with her on Discord, and then she will call my phone to prank me. <laughs> that's amazing. Like I am not on call with her in that exact moment, and then she I will see a call from my girlfriend on my phone. Well, I I think that's me. Yes, it's you. Oh, Mister Wright, please, you have to help me. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. M Mr. Powers! What happened? Why are you here? Uh, I. Uh, you, you see, I, I got roped into this somehow. And now I'm going to testify to Mama's trial. The decisive witness is Mr. Powers? <laughs> I was talking with the detective until a little while ago, and I was on my way home. When all of a sudden, you there, you're under arrest, and I was brought back here. Uh, oh. They said my face and who said in general looked suspicious or something. Hmm. Well, I guess I can see how they thought you looked suspicious. Oh my gosh. Uh, I'm just a normal guy on an exercise show for kids. Is that a crime? Is it okay if I don't answer that? Yeah, perfectly okay, I should say. <laughs> that must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. I... I'm sorry, everyone. I've lied to you all. I... I'm not a detective. I'm really... I'm really... I'm really global hero Onya Copen. I don't know what the fuck that is. I think he's lost. Uh, <clears throat> I think he's lost his grip on what's real and what isn't. I'm sure that's a great reference that I do not get. Mm, okay. Oh, is there more? Uh, if we go back to the det det detention center, we can talk to the other person. Oh, uh, the guy that I, the guy that I'm following suggested going ahead and talking to him anyways, and then going back to Adrian. Well, my spreadsheet suggested that you talk to Adrian first and then talk to Well, it also didn't say that I had to move away to talk to Adrian, <laughs> so I'm trying to piece stuff together here, Yosh. <laughs> we'll do this, go talk to Adrian, and then come back. I can't believe okay. you're not following Yosh's holy script here. Yeah. <laughs> I'm come trying. On, it says talk about Matt's secret again after Psylocke's appear, and then it just says Adrian. Yeah, uh, it, it says Adrian and not with Powers. Well, how was I supposed to know? The father, <laughs> the son, and the Yosh spirit. <laughs> I thought you were going to say the Yoshi spirit. 
No, no, but English. that would I'm not going to be correct. I know, that's but I, correct. that's where I thought he was going for a second, and I thought it, it was would, very funny. Like, it like, you know, like like in a certain terms of like syllables, yes, it would be he he ha ho ho. But <laughs> we have a Yoshi in our chat that I don't want to did not yeah, want to confuse. <laughs> Yoshi just said my spirit is not helping you. <laughs> <laughs> fair no. enough, fair enough. That's why I didn't say Yoshi. <laughs> Honestly, it was worth it just for that. It was totally worth it just for that. Uh, <laughs> that energy is scary. <laughs> My spirit is not helping you. <laughs> I like, I like we... to think that this is like we're on a Ouija board and we're like, Dear Yoshi, please help us. And he just appears and says, My spirit is not helping you. Listen to Yoshi. No. That's a quick answer. <laughs> yep. It's like everything we every time we do anything, like the piece keeps hovering over to no, 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 <laughs> yes. no, no. no. <laughs> Ask again later. <laughs> I want a Ouija board with magic eight ball answers on it. So the yeah. <laughs> Yes. Well we know what you want for Christmas now. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it, Re. Good. Alright. So about this testimony you're giving, what are you going to talk about? Uh, I really don't know yet. But it sounds like I saw something pretty important from what they tell me. You saw something important? What was it? Oh, uh, well, the detective told me not to talk about it. You can't tell anyone, and especially not that lawyer, he said. Who do you think is that lawyer the detective was talking about? I have no idea. I'm going to take a wild guess and say it's me. Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, you got it. Darn it. Mr. Nick, Mystify and myself are your only two allies in this world, but it's all right. We're pretty cool. Ouch. Wow. Ouch. I don't really, I don't really have a lot of friends, do I? I mean, Gumshoe is living in your office. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> Now then, what what guide program. shall I ignore? To, what, what guide shall I ignore today? <laughs> Hello, Samus Heron. How are you Hello, doing? Mario. Hello, Mario. <laughs> this is the detention center where many prisoners are held. <laughs> oh, I didn't know I... that. Thanks for letting me know. I hope we get bring you a whole <laughs> heap and pile of evidentione. <laughs> that is way better than what I was gonna do. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> that was amazing. Does that mean? Does that mean that Paul's mom is in the detention center? <gasps> Can oh we go God. see my mom? Um. I think your mom's gonna mind crush me if I walk into the same room as her. Also, she's Crushed probably in, like, real jail, like, with, like, real security guards and not this That's stone probably face true. motherfucker. Also, hello, oh, Sam is here. It's... Thank you for getting my name right eventually. Yeah, I'm sorry to be visiting at such a late hour. It's 9 p.m. I think it's way past 9 p.m. at this point, Pearl. <laughs> It's like 11 o'clock and Pearls is still saying it's 11, it's 9 p.m. It's 11. <laughs> well, yeah, she's like five. She got, she's told it's 9 p.m. That's what she assumes, assumes it is for like the next five hours. Hey, time was <laughs> a crazy concept when you were a kid. Don't lie. That's time fair. isn't real, even now. <laughs> Sundial is the only thing we can trust now. Hey, time That's is so a pretty true. good Pink Floyd song, though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Time is there are a few concept. questions I absolutely have to ask you tonight. <clears throat> I thought your client was mad. I'm sure Miss Andrews knows so good. Well. <laughs> she can't be clueless about the secret that Mr. Corda had on Mr. On Guard. 
True that, Nate. True that. It appears to me that rumor was started by Juan himself. Mr. Mr. Corda? But... I'm the Matt's manager, remember? I think he wants to embarrass Matt through his relationship with me. No. We hated each other. <laughs> For me, it is about getting Madeline's suicide note. For him, it is about wounding, wounding Matt's pride. That would have been a way funnier joke if it was last month. Or I could have made a funny joke. But it's July now. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> That's all it was. That's. That's. Our girls is in shock. She just sees how cruel the world can really be. Just totally to think, just a few minutes, minutes ago, she didn't even know what pizza was. <laughs> What if Pearls is lact what if Pearl is lactose intolerant? She doesn't then know. Then that sounds like a you problem. <laughs> no, that that's like a Rex. Plenty of <laughs> Maybe she has plenty of toast. <laughs> She's looking at Phoenix eating more slices. Pearl, you're lactose intolerant! She's like not breaking eye contact, eating another slice. <laughs> me. Except it makes me just sick. Mom. I don't think she lacks any toast personally. <laughs> Well, they don't even have salad. How could she have toast? That's true. What no. do they eat? Instant, Instant noodles. noodles! Yeah. You know, there was only one thought when I had at that time. What do you like eat? Same, Samus. With this, I can finally expose Matt's true nature to the world. Cardi nature. No way, that's one of the best ones. I always love a neutral nature. <laughs> I'm pretty sure his nature is, I'm pretty sure his nature is lax. I think it might be adamant actually, I don't know. The IV tech is a big crap in this game. Yeah. His true nature? I wonder why she's saying that, but not telling you what his true nature is. I... I just had... For me, I think I'd be happy to finally get that kind of thing off my chest. I don't care what the reason is, was... It's unforgivable that he hit Madeline's suicide note. But you don't have any proof that she left a suicide note behind, right? Madeline. She always believed there was a right way and a wrong way to do anything. She would have left a note, I... I wholly believe her. Is she saying that there's a right way and a wrong way to kill herself? Yes. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you, Ace Attorney. Very cool. Um, I'd like to ask you about this. I told you. I hate trifles. It's a waste of time to show me things that have no relevance to me. the first time I've been shut down this badly. Uh, no, it's not. I guess I'm choosing, I think I'm choosing to forget about Olive Garden. Oh. <laughs> I 
don't remember who that is. Sorry. <laughs> I still don't remember who he is. How many dialogue boxes are there? But that's all he is and never will be, so I don't remember. <laughs> what a horrible thing to say despite not remembering anything. Society doesn't care about genuinely nice people, Mr. Knight. We live in a society. <laughs> we live Same as in Aaron a society. with Joker mode. I'm that is the, the most... Joker, baby. I think two two years ago, if you said the sentence to me, Samus Aaron is going Joker mode, I'd look at you and think, <laughs> what what AI gave you that sentence? And, and stop talking to me. <laughs> but you just Actually, I once I talking to me. If it was like online over text, I'd be like, haha, funny, where did you get that? But in person, like if a real person walked up and said that to me and I never knew them, I'd be like, how did you get into my house? <laughs> I'm filing a restraining order immediately. And they followed up after that is, I'm hungry! <laughs> it's like, get out of my house. <laughs> I'd like to ask you about Mr. Matt Ongard, if you don't mind. Mr. White, you still don't know, do you? The real him, I mean. You seem to bear a lot of resentment towards Mr. Ongard. If that's the case, why did you become his manager? And why would you become intimate with his rival? That's... That's nothing to do with the case. Nothing. About Celeste or Madeline Impacts. I had finally put a death behind me. And now, thanks to you, it's all come back to the surface. I... I'm sorry. No, you're not. Yes, I was shocked by her suicide. And it's true that when I heard the rumor Oh wait, I need... Okay. Who had hidden her suicide note, I began to draw close to him. I want to get a note back and burn it. You wanted to burn it? But why? I didn't want it to spread like just another piece of gossip. So I just need to take a little sippy. Oh. Understood. Glad to give you, give you, give you, glad to give you water. Glad <clears throat> to give you water in here. I mean, I was worried no. they to give you water in the detention center. <laughs> they give us apple juice, actually. Oh. That's. But I never. Uh. But, but I never held any intent towards one. I will never do something so stupid. A suicide note, huh? I wonder what it said. Why did you try to frame Mr. Ongard? That's simple. Because it would be, because it's really funny. <laughs> it's still a little bit of trolling. It's still a little joke. Isn't it the duty of every good citizen to do a little bit of trolling? Another way. I can't read that first line in without laughing. Awesome. <laughs> I don't know how they wrote that line without laughing. <laughs> For the first, yeah, for the first time in reading Phoenix Wright, I say skip that shit. <laughs> I'm using my one <laughs> mulligan. I can't, I cannot, even as a joke, I cannot on the internet have that line said in my... <laughs> oh, God, yeah. <laughs>
Okay, back to serious. It's an actual serious topic, but that got yes, yes. <laughs> yes. So good that they couldn't figure out the real truth behind Madeline's death. Yes, Andrews. Well, um, I know you're not the type of person to do something without a reason. So please tell me why you did what you did. Forward. Andrews oh. is actually. Game oh mechanic. God, she oh, she Things only has like one game, game mechanic. mechanic. A singular cyclone, huh? I like That's how go, I like how you go from five to one. That's yeah. Cool. yeah. Like... <laughs> to be fair, we're talking with someone who we just had. To be well, fair, I think we've thoroughly broken Adrian at this point, so I'm not surprised that she has fear game mechanics. <laughs> Who's Adrian? Yeah. yeah, Samus doesn't have much left to hide at this point. Don't you understand yet? You're not my lawyer. To be honest, you're not. You're more like my enemy. I'm misery. But. I'm sure I just heard Miss Andrews say, "Revenge." I'm excited to finally find out where she gets the infinite supply of glasses from. That's true. Me too, those are expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Very expensive. That's what she's using the power suit for nowadays, just a glasses dispenser. Yeah, the glasses suit. Ah, of course. Thank you. <clears throat> That's going to do a lot of damage to Matt, you know. Because he's got that refreshing little spring breeze image going. What is he really like? Well, let's see. Matt's always been kind of a player with women. Chill. He would never really turn a pretty face away, if you know what I mean. He'd always say, it's just a game to justify himself. What? How horrible! That's unforgivable! Uh, oh. Sorry, didn't mean to offend you. But, you know, he said once that... There's only one person in the world who won't swoon over me. One person who won't swoon over him? His manager, you know. Miss Adrian... Sam... Sam... Adrian... Aaron? Don't worry about it. It's confusing, please. You have okay. to... He puts a hand on his, he puts his hand on his shoulder. It's okay, man. It's okay. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank you. Why is Mr. Powers looking so, suddenly looking kind of energetic? Ah, uh, you see, I'm actually a sack for gossip. I mean, celebrities and their world have this dazzling sort of image, right? Dazzling sort of image, but aren't you part of that dazzle, Mr. Powers? No, I, I'm more of a heavy, sweaty, smelly, brutish kind of guy, you see. But it's okay, really. I get to hear plenty of gossip about a lot of other stars around me as things happen. Well, that's true. Oh, hey, so did you hear about this yet? About Miss Andrews' mentor and her suicide? You mean Miss Impact? I heard something about how her wedding was cancelled. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought about it a little the other day. About that mysterious death. Hey, Mr. Wright. Why didn't you ask me about it? Why didn't you ask me about that? Go on, go ahead. Mr. Powers is so charged up, his skin is practically glowing with electricity. No! You shocked me! He's going to unleash his super move. He's going to use hey. his electric wind god fist. Command no. grab. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! After finishing the combo, continue the combo with an electric wind god fist. 
Freaking, you just, the sprite of powers outreaches his arm and it's just a hand <laughs> towards the camera. <laughs> Dark of 1,000 deaths. <laughs> hey, wait, no, that's, that's on yeah, that's... me. Hey, so I have you this. Celeste left a suicide note. And they say that, oh, and went and hit it. We heard about that in court today. There wasn't any actual proof that she had left a note. Well, this is what I think. I think that something bad was written on that note. Something bad for one, that is. Something bad for Mr. Corita? Why do you figure so? Well, before she died, Celeste talked with a few of her friends. And she said, It looks like I got caught up with a truly insidious man. A truly insidious man? Did she mean Mr. Corrida by that? Well, there's no one else that fits the bill, right? And that would be reason enough for him to hide the suicide note. I see. Well, that's some good info. Thank you. You're welcome. Hmm. Mr. Omgard and Miss Andrews, they're both at the detention center right now. There are still things I don't understand or know about, I'm sure. I have to get two of them to tell me everything. Mr. Vic, your phone! Phoenix is too busy dancing. Hey, that was your summer theme song, isn't it? No. <laughs> I don't like the sound of this ringtone right now. It sounds kind of ominous. I, yeah, I, I know. Hello? We're in trouble now, pal. I'll, I'll be back at your office really soon. W what's wrong? Something really unexpected just happened. Mr. Edgeworth, he... Also got shot, just like his sister. <laughs> That's right. Edgeworth? Anyway, hurry up and get back to the office, pal. I swear to God, it's just... I don't know what's going on anymore. And I couldn't read the rest. Yeah, and that like... It's, not, <laughs> it's, like, it's not good, and boop. Hello? Ah, oh, he got cut off. What's going on, Mr. Nick? Gumshoe said we need to go back to the office right away. Then we should hurry back, and he better have got some lettuce. I'm scared to go back. What are you talking about, Mr. Nick? Pull yourself together! Um... Maybe it'll be good... <laughs> Maybe it'll be good news. Somehow, I doubt that. What took you so long, pal? Mr. Extra gonna stick around forever and had to go. I guess the lettuce was that important. <laughs> <laughs> well, what happened? We got him. We know we bought your spy camera. Eh? Is it this quickly? And this bear what and this bear what gave him away, pal. Hey, leave the guy who voices me out of this. The bear. <laughs> I figured it out, Bell. I figured that we should have been looking into the bear instead of the camera. It was totally me and not Edgeworth. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, I think we... <laughs> but wasn't it Mr. Edgeworth who... Shh, Pearls. And, uh, go on. <clears throat> I 
There's only one person who bought one of these bears. Who's related to this crime. Who is it? Let me at him! Let me at him! Who would be so rude as to spy on another person in their room? Mac on guard. Mech on guard, your client. That's who, pal. Here I thought things. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> here I thought things couldn't get any worse. <laughs> Are you sure you heard right? That the person who bought this bear was. I heard it from the department store clerk, pal. This is the credit card receipt for the purchase. It's for $3,800, pal. That's an exact match to the price of that stuff bear. Receipt? That's all you have? Nah. It's not just a receipt, pal. The store clerk sex on himself. He told me, I'm sure I sold the bear to Mr. On Guard. I mean, the clerk even got Mr. Ongard's autograph out of it, pal. So I'm sure the person that bought the stuffed bear was Mr. Ongard himself. My... My sight is falling at me, failing me. This can't be. So what about the spy camera we found? Ah, that was a dead end, pal. I mean, you can get this kind of thing from anywhere. But for now, I guess I can give this back to you. For you can fall away into evidence. I know you don't want to give up, pal. I never thought... I, I didn't think it was possible. The person who put the spy camera in one corner of his room was Matt on guard. Why would Mr. On guard do something like this? I bet it was to catch Miss Andrews and Mr. Carda on one of their rendezvous. I bet is not good enough for me. I have to know the absolute truth behind this camera. Are you going to see him? Mr. Ongard, I mean. Yes. I'm scared, Mr. Neck. I wonder, I wonder what we will find out next. I scared myself, but I had to put on a good face for pearls. <clears throat> Matt on guard, what in the world have you done? I thought that was image training, Phoenix, I was doing. Oh, by the way, before you go, do we have some food in this office? I do crave a salad. <laughs> what did I say? I'm sorry, pearls. It's been a long few days. Mm. I swear, these people were driving me crazy. Don't make me get out the dodgeball. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Why have you got a dodgeball out, dude? He didn't it's buy not... any lettuce. It's not for you, it's for me. <laughs> You're working really late, you know. It's already past 10 p.m., dude. Isn't that crazy? 10 p.m.? I think it's time you told me the truth. Relax. Don't you know what? Don't you know that ignorance is bliss? But if you really want to know, let's talk. <laughs> Mad secret. Now. Let's hear what this secret of yours is. What if Mr. Corda had been successful in his plan? 
What would he have disclosed? I told you before, dude. I don't know. I don't know anything about Juan, okay? Look, Mr. Wright. I can keep on saying it until I'm blue in the face, but... I totally didn't pay Juan any attention the whole night. I mean, come on. I was in the middle of a nap. Don't lie to me. Huh? I know you paid close attention to Mr. Corda, especially on that night. Someone used this camera to secretly film Mr. Corda's room the night of the murder. Secretly film? What? And then sent the images in the, the camera took with this transmitter. Wow, but dude, what was this camera you're talking about hidden? The spy camera was hidden in this bear's eye. A bear that was supposed to be a president from a, a president, a bear that was supposed to be a present from a fan. Oh my I god, think president bear! bear. Be president. <laughs> huh. I guess Juan had a few of those kind of fans too, huh, dude? Actually, I wouldn't say this bear was a present from a fan. Hmm. You sure, dude? Who else could it be from? The person who gave this bear to Mr. Corrida was... Maya Fe <laughs> <laughs> Maya's on trial again. Maya has to testify. Surprise, surprise. And then the police would find her. But if the police had to find her to question her in court, they'd find her Oh, like instantly. That. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ongar, don't you know this bear from somewhere? I don't think I've ever met Mr. Bear before, dude. Aw, but he says he knows you. How could you forget such a great friend? What else did the bear tell you? <laughs> and have you seen he a psychiatrist lately? I've been missing on my appointments the past few weeks. <laughs> Phoenix is about ready to snap. <laughs> he says that the one who put the camera in his eye was you, Mr. On Guard. And it hurt very much. It hurt I very much. <laughs> If I didn't know how you work in court, I'd think I was in some serious trouble. Come on, this is all a joke, right, dude? You're just pulling my leg. Looks like you're not ready to give up on your secret yet. Well, do you have any proof that you want to show me first? Here is proof that it was you who put the camera inside the bear. I have here one credit card receipt, Mr. On Guard. It's from when you bought that stuffed bear. Dude, all you can tell from this is that I spent $38,000. Or $3,800 dollars $3, even. Dang, that's an expensive bear. I can definitely read numbers. I go to that department store all the time, okay? This $3,800. This could be that toothbrush I bought that one time. A third, a thirty-eight hundred dollar toothbrush. It's gold-plated, dude. It's ivory, even, and it's got elephant hair for the bristles. Ew, elephant hair. Is that what what rich people use nowadays? Anyway, the store clerk clearly remembers you and your purchase. After all, you even gave him an autograph, did you not? Dude, you should have said that earlier. Uh, can I ask you one thing? Yes? You're my lawyer, right, dude? So, if you are, then why are you looking into stuff like that? Because if I don't know the truth, I can't help you. Sounds more like stupid lawyer talk to me. Hey. Let's stop talking about this, okay? No, not yet. I haven't asked why you set the camera up yet. And what your secret is. Of course, 
it would be strictly confidential. So, what are you gonna do now? I'm gonna find out what I want to know, because I must. The reason you hid this camera in Mr. Corda's room and filmed it in secret is... Dimitri and Andrews? Samus Aran even? Sorry, it's confusing. They recently came out as, like, trans women, you know? Like, new name and everything. I'm kind of, I'm getting my head around it, you know? Yeah, everybody is. It's all good. There's a rumor going around. That Miss Aaron and Mr. Corda were having secret meetings. You, who was keeping tabs on Mr. Corda. You were going to reveal this as fact and turn it into a scandal, isn't that right? Dude, you'd be such a moron. Hmm? Huh? Oh man, Mr. Lawyer Dude, that kind of scandal. That's the good stuff. That's what we in the industry call juicy. The good stuff? Juicy? Look, we can get publicity without spending a penny with that kind of stuff. I mean, if people stop paying attention to us, then it'd be the end, dude. Too bad that wasn't your intention. What are you talking about? I wish your reason for spying was something so innocent, but it wasn't. You didn't spy on Spia. You didn't spy on Mr. Corda because of that Miss Andrews, Miss Aaron. And there's only one reason I can think of for you to do such a thing. Hmm? The real reason you set up that camera in Mr. Corda's room was. <laughs> well, what is this card? Maybe he doesn't know about this card. This is a certain man's calling card. The man's name is Shelly the Killer, and I'm sure you know of him, don't you? Shelly the Killer. That, 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 that's ridiculous. Why would I know some shady scumbag like him? If you really don't know him, then why are you acting so jumpy all of a sudden? This is it. I'm finally starting to get to the truth. I can't afford to make any more mistakes now. Mr. Matt Ongard. I know I know why you know Mr. The Killer. It's because. Since you're the one who set up that camera. That means you knew. You knew exactly what was going to happen in that room. So, how? How would you know something like that? Because you're his client. That's why. You hired Shelly the Killer to assassinate Mr. Juan Corrida. The real mastermind behind this whole murder is... You, Matt on guard! trying to be a good boy for you, dude. Huh? I thought if you didn't know, you'd be able to do your job without feeling bad. Well, that's what I thought anyway. Mr. Ongard, you really did hire- Hold on a sec. I'm gonna consult myself, okay? What? Consult myself? Well, I guess it's probably about time anyway. About time for what? I think it's time for you to meet him now, Mr. Lawyer Dude. How do you do, Mr. Lawyer? I'm Matt on guard. Don't ask where I got this glass from. Oh no, he's French. Run. Ha ha ha.
Well done, Mr. Wright. I bet it wasn't easy to gather as much information as you have. You really... So you really are Shelly the Killer's client. You didn't really think I would dirty my own hands with this, did ya? What do you mean? <laughs> and that woman, Damas, was quite brave herself. Trying to stick the crime on me. I didn't think she had it in her. But all I care about is that Juan is dead. Isn't that right, Mr. Lawyer? That's... you're lying! What a terrible... It's way past your bedtime, little girl. Go on. Let us grown-ups talk about more adult things. But why? Why did you hide the video camera in? A weakling soon believes the words of others, just like that pathetic Samus. He knew about Miss Aaron's secret? But I'm no weakling. I don't believe anyone, least of all assassins. What? Oh, come now, Mr. Wright. Assassins aren't about blackmail. They turn their clients into cash cows by holding the sinful deed over their heads. And a superstar like me, how much do you think I'm worth? Get a guess? And? And that's why? Yes, that's where the video comes in. It's got his face and the crime scene recorded on it, preserved for all time. And with that, I can keep him at bay and even blackmail him if I want. That's right, that video is my insurance. Isn't that what they call it, Mr. Wright? Why would you do something so wrong? Because I'm a grown-up, and I can. Good enough for an answer for you, little girl? did what she did. Why would you kill Mr. Corridor? Because he was about to sling so much dung onto my beautiful public image. Scandals are a little annoying, aren't they? This is all because of that press conference, isn't it? Mr. Corridor had been able to give it then. Mr. Ongard's secret would have... Ah, uh, well, that's what we call taking advantage of the situation, you know. And I had no interest in doing it, really, but bit by bit, it crept upon me. And then the situation just presented itself perfectly. How beautiful, I thought. And that... that's how Mr. Clarita ended up dead. Let me tell you something. I'm not like Samus. I don't depend on anyone. People are simply things to be used, used and thrown away. Put on a sweet, innocent face, and people will swallow anything you feed them. Samus fell for it. The assassin, too. Oh, and how can I forget? Even you fell for it, Mr. Lawyer! Everyone, all working their butts off for me, Matt on guard. I'm gonna throw the oh. ball at him. Oh, that leave you speechless? What a shame. <sighs> What's wrong, Mr. Lawyer? You've grown awfully quiet. How could I have been so deceived by you all this time? When we first met, I asked if you had killed one corridor. You answered very clearly you hadn't killed anyone. He didn't do it. Hey now. I never told you any That's lies. why the game mechanics never came up, because he didn't kill anyone. The person who did the killing was that de killer guy, right? All I'm guilty of is taking a catnap in my room. You. You. You killed Mr. Corridor. <laughs> I dare you to say that in court tomorrow. <sighs> Oh, but too bad, you can't! You're my lawyer after all, aren't you? 
You could always drop my case and refuse to represent me. How does that sound? Ah, uh, but you can't, can you? That would be the one thing you absolutely can't do. Mr. Meyer! You wouldn't want to test a killer. He's a man of his word, or so I hear. You could end up getting a certain friend of yours rubbed out if you lose. You scoundrel. So if I were you, Mr. Wright, Esquire, I think I would give it my all tomorrow. Remember, everyone likes a happy win-win resolution. I forget you for this. That's such a cliche phrase. One said something just like that, if memory serves. Of course, well, we'll all know how, th how things turned out for him, don't we? Good night, Mr. Lawyer. Maya. Maya. Maya, what am I supposed to do? Uh, that's uh, Edgeworth. And now... Now you've finally found it. The starting line of this case. Edgeworth. I don't care for the horrid atmosphere here. Let's return to the precinct. Well, right. what are you going to do? If you plan on changing your strategy... No! We can't do that! That's right. He spoke with my hostage. Hmm. What? What should I do? Hmm. That's not something I can answer for you. Right? Only you can decide where to go from here. One year ago, at that time, I didn't truly understand what a prosecutor was. And that is why I had to leave the prosecutor's office. I felt that I couldn't stand in a court of law until I knew what a prosecutor really was. And now, right, it's your turn. My turn? What is this thing called a lawyer? What can you do as one? You must find the answer, and you must find it on your own. I'm a lawyer. But to fight for someone who is clearly a killer... That on guard, that man is, is really... Ugh. It doesn't matter who, every person deserves a proper defense and a fair trial. Isn't that the basis of our judicial system? Proper defense? But what exactly is that? Is it where a, a lawyer forcibly and blindly gets an acquittal through shouting and trickery? <sighs> Ironic you, of all people, should say such a thing. Isn't that exactly how you have fought for your clients up until now? Uh... Well, that might be true, but... But that's... That's because I believe my clients to be innocent from the bottom of my heart. But if I were to get on guard as an acquittal, that... That isn't a proper defense at all. I became a lawyer because I thought, I thought I could save people who were suffering and in pain. But when I look at this mess we're in, I can't even protect the person closest to me. Even if I win the case, I still lose in the end. I just don't know what to do. 
Right. Would you get a hold of yourself? You have it all wrong. Huh? We aren't some sort of heroes. We're only human, you and I. You want to save some- That's something easier said than done, wouldn't you say? That is. You are a defense attorney. You can't run away from that. You can only fight. That's all you can do. People like you and Franziska von Karma are always using all you have to pin me down. You fight to the very end, even when you know the truth is not with you. I'm not like you. I can't fight for a false verdict, for a man I clearly know to be guilty. Hmm. Franziska, she fights for herself. The only thing she fights for is her perfect win record. That's all. And? Isn't it the same as you? Isn't that why you ran away a year ago? Because your precious win record was destroyed. You're so petty. I see. Now I understand why you despise me so. However, you are mistaken. What do you- Thanks to you. When you sealed off my path to a perfect win record, I began to realize the error of my ways. I realized that things such as a perfect record were meaningless. What? I don't believe you. You're saying that is why you left the prosecutor's office? But then, why? Why are you here now? The answer to that is something you will find out on your own. I have faith you will see it before the verdict is read tomorrow. But if you can't, but then you will be powerless to change the ending of this story. Mr. Nick, the transceiver... I'm sorry for what happened earlier. Now then, Mr. Attorney, do you wager you can obtain a acquittal tomorrow? <laughs> my, my. What is the matter, Mr. Attorney? I don't sense your usual anger this time. Tell me, please. Why are you holding Maya's hot hostage for Mr. Ongard's sake? Why are you... Why are you doing this for that cold-blooded killer? Right. Please don't misunderstand things. He is my client. Don't toy with me. A man who hires an assassin is just as much of a killer himself. I believe you are asking me for a reason as to why I am doing what I am. Yeah. This is what I like to call my aftercare. What the heck is aftercare? No wonder I just left you. <clears throat> my name here is the same as Holy shit. <laughs> Anyways. My name carries a certain amount of honor and dignity, Mr. Attorney. I take great care to ensure that no suspicion falls upon my clients for my handiwork. That is what is called client relations, and it is a part of an assassin's duty. An assassin's duty? An assassin's creed? We were unlucky this time, and my client was arrested as a suspect. As a result, I did what I had to to enlist your expert help, Mr. Attorney. And to ensure that you would do everything in your power to the very end. What is your name? I believe I told you once before, however. You did, but... My name is... De Killer. Shelly De Killer. 
You're Shelly the Killer? Please keep in mind that you do not have much space to maneuver with me. As a tequila, I always finish what I set out to do. If you fail to keep up, you're under the bargain. Maya! It would be my duty as an assassin to see to it that she receives a nice, long nap. No! Now then, if you'll excuse me. If someone were to trace the signal back to me, it would be quite troublesome. Say. Edgeworth. Hmm? Did you hear that? At the end of the transmission. Huh? Oh, that. It sounded like a cat. I know, I've been working on my impression. A cat? Can't be. That cat, can it? Cassie? I think, I think, I know where Shelly the Killer is holding Maya hostage. Edgeworth, have all police units head for On Guard Mansion immediately. Hmm. All right, you hurry over as well then. Don't lose hope yet, Pearls. The fight has only just begun. Hope? Yeah. We'll fight our way out of despair. Just watch. Oh, God. You're gonna summon I knew, them. I knew someone was going to say something like that. Re reset oh, hey, hope, bro. so I, I had to <laughs> I had to Don't summon them. And as narrator and as narrator I had to you know <laughs> Okay, bye pals. Hi, <laughs> bye. <laughs> Maya! We have this area completely surrounded. There is no way for him to escape. Assuming he's still in the area. I can't believe that that butler, all this time, he was the killer. He and On Guard were working together all this time. I'm sure they had worked out a contingency plan ahead of time. This is the first time I've ever seen such a large fireplace. It's so nice and pretty and... I don't particularly care for large fireplaces. They remind me of my youth. That's right. You grew up in a really affluent household. I guess you're still not over that case, huh? Don't take this personally. But I really do not wish to remember anything from that time in my life. This is probably where you conduct business with the killer. Shelly the killer values his client relations more than anything else. So I'm sure he must meet with his clients in person to talk about any transactions. Yosh, was that the lounge set you were talking about? I think so. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, sounds right. It's on God's personal collection. I'd say it's a hobby of his to collect prop masks to each show that's related to his own. You... you seem to know all sorts of details about Matt on guard. Almost too many details. He's the defendant in this case. Of course I would know about him. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. Oh, it's a figurine of a bear! But there's a lot of cuts in it for some reason. A bear? Isn't that more of a thing for Mr. Corridor? Why would something like this be here? Right? Look down. There's a little pet door installed here. Uh, I'm 
sure that's for sure. Do you think that this came through that little door? This door, it's locked! <laughs> oh my god. Well, I'm pretty used to breaking doors down by now. Let's go, Edgeworth. Maya rubbed off on him. <laughs> Holy shit. She sure did. <laughs> <clears throat> Oh, there's no one here. From the looks of this room, I would say this is On Guard's private lounge. Look at this, Bright. An antenna for sending and receiving radio signals and a VCR. Check inside the deck. If there's a tape, it would be an important, maybe an important piece of evidence. If we're lucky, at all the moment the crime was a committed record. <laughs> Committed recorded on it. I'm sorry, but the tape deck is empty. There's no tape to be found. Also, there's no way that tape would be legally obtained evidence. What the fuck? It's a legal hellscape. Wahoo! Whoa! Not a but there's no mistake that someone used this to record something. Looks like someone took the tape we're looking for and escaped with it. Huge television speakers loom largely here. I'm sure if Maya saw this, she'd say... I would die a happy samurai fan if I could see the nickel samurai on a TV like this. Yeah, that's what she'd say. <laughs> oh. yeah, ah! I can't believe I just made a joke about Maya, of all things considered. It's on guard's computer. Maya, why couldn't you use this to get help? I get it. That's what happened. She couldn't find the power switch. Maybe there's a switch in one of the rooms. Remind me to check. It's a very small table. I bet we could barely squeeze three pearls on there. But I wouldn't sit on a table to begin with. Is Pearl just like a unit of measurement now? Yes. Yeah. Okay. What Whoa. a spacious sofa. I bet ten pearls would fit on here. <laughs> um, I don't think ten of me would fit, Mr. Nick. Please stop using me as a unit of measurement, thank you. Hmm. Searched all over. Looks like he got away. I'm sorry. It looks like he slipped out of our grasp this time. And now we've lost our only lead. Don't give up yet. That little girl is looking to you to be her pillar. Yeah. You're right. We're close. I can tell. We've already set up checkpoints across along every route leading out of this district. Leave the rest to us. Maya. This looks like a picture of... Miss Impacts. With love, Madeline or Celeste. I forgot how bad the Camino continuity. Miss Impact? You mean. Yes. Mr. Corda's former manager. Why would a picture of Miss Impacts be in here in Mr. Edengard's mansion? That's kind of weird. And why does it say with love? Oh, yeah. It's like a clue. What's wrong, Pearls? Pearls? 
Please, let me see that picture. Huh? What's so special about the frame? On the back, there's something written on the back of the frame. Maya. Mystic Maya, she left us a message. What? I thought you'd come. I knew you would. Now listen up. You better get Engard a guilty sentence, okay? If you get that creepy slime bag a not guilty, I'll never forgive you, ever. I'm fine, so you don't need to worry. There's so much I want to write, but I don't think I have a lot of time left. Pearly, you're there too, right? Make sure you help Nick, okay? Someone's got to watch out for the helpless lunk. Um, that's it for now, Nick. I guess I'll talk to you guys later. That's... I... No! It's your death note! This thing, Maya! <laughs> right. What's wrong? Why the blanker stare than usual? Oh, um, <clears throat> nothing. We've searched the house, and this is the last room. Looks like he eluded us. Edgeworth. Yes. As far as clues go, I'm. I think this is all about. This is about all I'm gonna get. But I'm still short one last thing. And what is that? Uh, yeah, Yoshi, hopefully that's not the case. This Aaron's psych lock. Like I've just found the secret she's holding. And I think I stand a chance in court tomorrow. Blow this case wide open and expose the truth. I think I know what you're thinking. I'll contact the detention center. Um, thanks, Edgeworth. Well, let's go, Pearls. It's time to open that last lock. Good evening. <clears throat> Good evening, Mr. Wright. What's wrong? You look ill. Miss Andrews. I have come to remove your psych lock. Psych lock? Is that... Oh, oh you mean the game mechanic. Yeah. Yeah. I want to know, and you will tell me. Your secret. <sighs> I mean, go ahead. Try to break me if you can. Did, did you just invert the guards in the background? Yeah. Um, can you please tell me why you framed Mr. On Guard for the murder? I've already told you countless times. It's because I thought it was funny. No, that's not it. I know you have to have a personal reason to dislike Mr. Ongar. Miss Andrews, you may not think I didn't hear it, but I know you said something earlier. You said revenge. So you're saying I was taking out my revenge on out on that, and that's why? What an absurd idea! I don't have anything I want to take revenge for. Miss Aaron, 
one who lives up being dependent on other people. There's something or someone in her past that would make her take revenge. M Madeline? There's only one catalyst that would cause such strong feelings and even revenge. As Miss Impacts' is suicide. What are you trying to say? Madeline was Juan's manager. On top of that, the one who hid us this time it was also Juan. What does all of this have to do with Matt? You're right. You haven't mentioned him. Yet. For you to hate Mr. Ongard, you mean he must have some relation to Miss Impacts and her suicide. Can you explain to me this relation between Madeline and Matt? I see in my green voice. This. This is a photo of Miss Impact, correct? She looks younger than when she passed away, though. W. We have love, Celeste. This is Miss Impact's handwriting, isn't it? Why did you find this? No, that's all right. It was a rhetorical question. Yeah, it is. I found this in Mr. Ongard's mansion. And after all this time, my last remaining secret has been revealed. Madeline, she was supposed to get married to Juan. Yes. Then I heard it didn't work out. Because Mr. Clarita didn't want to get married to her anymore, right? Yes, because of Matt. Because of Mr. Ongard? What do you mean? I think you can see where this is going. Madeline. She was Matt's manager a long time ago. She was the happiest woman in the world at the time. I was working part-time back then and I often saw the two of them together. So that's why with love Celeste is written in the frame of that picture. weren't there? It wasn't anything as splendid as that. Madeline was being used, toyed with until she was thrown away. That's so horrible! Matt's entire image is built on how nice and wonderful he is. Scandal would have destroyed that. Just why Madeline, in her kindness, moved over to World White Studio. And that's where she met Juan. She seemed really happy with him, even happier than when she was with Matt. Madeline and Juan were such a good match that they were even planning to get married. And then, he was suddenly called off. On the night one called the marriage of Celeste, or Madeline, she killed herself. So that's why I framed Matt. It was revenge for Celeste and for my Madeline and for myself. Do you have time to finish this last bit up or do you need to go? How many lines is it, Yosh? Uh, it's just this conversation, this talk conversation here, and it's like 
gonna let me count. It's like eight times Adrian talks, but one of them is like really long. <laughs> I, I, I can do it, yeah, sure. Okay. I'm sure you didn't even guess why Juan called the red went enough, right? Matt confessed to Juan about his relationship with Madeline. I see. So that's what happened. Karita have to call off the wedding. I just don't understand. It was probably because of his worthless male pride. Juan and Matt will always be his rivals. Matt waited for a wedding announcement and then unleashed the truth on Juan. He was aiming for when it would hurt Juan the most. That wasn't the end of it. That day, I'm almost certain that Madeline left a suicide note behind. So no, no, she left a detailed account of Matt's various misdeeds and as though she would never be the can be how the match chose to die. And when Juan discovered the body, he hit her note. It's simple. Juan realized the note was a powerful weapon against Matt. It would be especially damn. And it will be especially damaging to his profession like a spin bee's image. In any case, you have tried hard. Juan sold revenge. Revenge. There's that word again. Juan wants to publicly disclose the contents of our suits, I know. The time that will cause Matt the most damage, of course. No. And that was at the press conference after the stage show. I know all about it because I heard it from Juan. It was so I could find out about all oh, this that I drew close to Matt Juan to begin with. Quite a pair of hideous monsters, aren't they? Even Madeline's death was some fun to use in that game. I like when I found Juan's body. It's only natural that I fought the murder with Matt. Those two were always fine on one another, after all. As for me, I was frantically searching for Celeste for Madeline's suicide note. I wanted to destroy it before they went public. I was going to burn it. I had even bought a lighter. Also, this is way more than eight lines. They said she talks eight times. I, I didn't say eight lines. Uh, I couldn't find a suicide note. That's when the bench crossed my mind. Yes, I was going to bring them my own kind of cool revenge. Madeline was killed by those two monsters. When I stabbed Juan's body that night, I didn't feel a single shred of guilt. And that's all I have to say. <coughs> well, Mr. Vice, you would know all this. Are you still going to help that man? I... I'm a lawyer. 
I see. What a foul profession. She was so right for that one. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for your time and for talking with me. It was no big deal. I couldn't sleep anyway. I can't sleep either. Not with my situation or with what I know now. Okay, cool. I'm dipping. See you. Thanks, Bye, Ari. Bye, Ari. Bye. Thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Woo. What a what a doozy of a of a, what a of a session. So what much a case. happened. I love yeah. this case. I'm I was glad, really excited. I'm for glad that. you all yeah. finally see now why this case is a masterpiece. <laughs> you know, I like kind of knew like the the like points of what happened, but seeing the actual writing and like what the characters are saying, just like. Takes it mm -hmm. to another level. I was really excited for the end guard scene. Yeah. <laughs> so was I. Oh, you, I oh really my have Astrid, you, it you fucking, you killed it. Holy so shit. Yeah. yeah, definitely. <laughs> so it was good. incredible. Yeah, that's not the last you're seeing of him, obviously. Oh, for sure. <laughs> so. Hell yeah. I don't think we get into it next week, considering our speed, but... <laughs> the trial portion of the trial part two is the reason why I wanted to play this character specifically. Hell yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, I know what you're on about. I'm excited yeah. for that too. Yeah, I'm sure we'll probably take like three three sessions to get through, at least to get through the the trial. Yeah, probably. Yeah. This trial is also amazing. This case, yeah. this is probably tied for my favorite case in the entire series. Yeah. It's yeah, probably, I can see It's that. tied with my favorite, my favorite, my other favorite is the last one in the third game, which I'm also very excited for. Whenever yeah. we get to that. Yeah. <laughs> can you guys believe? Can you guys believe we're finally almost through with the second game? <laughs> I could, it's I'm uh, it's only been two years. <laughs> only been two years. <laughs> we, 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 we really are clearing just one game a year. Yeah, with this we're slightly faster with this one, and it's only because there's only four cases, and yeah. not five. <laughs> if there was a fifth case, we would still be. <laughs> but yeah. Is there five cases in the third game? Yeah, this Who is knows? the only game. <laughs> this is the only game in the series with four cases. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, wait. <laughs> Actually, no. How about I'm photo? misremembering. I'm misremembering because yeah. I'm blocking out Apollo Justice from my memory. <laughs> See, we're getting to the we're getting to the part where I'm starting to get nervous, and I'm like, ah, oh, shoot, I gotta start figuring out how I'm gonna um, how I'm gonna uh, uh manage to to stream the other ones. So uh, yeah, I've, well, I've, I'm I've sure you can that. find. Yeah, they are. I'm, a I'm sure you can find DS totally game, legal. So. Totally legal mm. software. Yeah, yeah, totally, yeah legal. totally. Totally. Yeah, did you hear about that Windows port? That was like the Windows <laughs> Epic Windows software. Hey, if we're that... lucky, if we are lucky, between while we're doing the third game, they could <laughs> just release a new collection. Yeah. Like, like they to did it fair. with the Great Ace Attorney. Actually, it's not out of the right. question. I'm pretty sure what they're gonna <laughs> just... do is they're gonna release the original trilogy for the Samsung fridge before they release. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go. So what you're saying is we should play. Once we're done with the third game, we should move on to Great Ace Attorney oh, while we're waiting for them to port more games. Oh exactly. <laughs> Actually, I think we had talked about. I think we had talked about taking a break after the trilogy to play like Undertale or something, mm -hmm. and then and so then Ghost Trick, I think. We I don't know if we decided Maybe. on multiple ones or if I know I know yeah. those were like ones that we talked about, and so I don't know if we, if it was like trilogy break, trilogy break, Great Ace Attorney, and we also have to fit investigations in somewhere. Um, we haven't exactly decided the order on things yet, but we have talked about taking a break after the trilogy to play a different game. So that'll give them an extra probably year to get, um, you know. <laughs> I don't know if Undertale and... take us a year. I don't know, man. You never know. Ghost Trick depends, might. Dep depends, how, depends how we... Ghost Trick, yes. I could see Ghost, Ghost Trick. Trick, especially without a Yosh guide, I can see that taking a long time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the last time I played Ghost Trick was like... Ten years ago, so I, I don't. I, I couldn't make a guide. <laughs> so what you're saying is, between this game and the third game, we need Yosh to just play Ghost Trick. <laughs> yes. I mean, <laughs> that is not time wasted. Ghost Trick is fucking fantastic. <laughs> I've wanted to play it for years, so I'm definitely down to play it, even if we don't don't do it for this break. 
um mm -hmm. next time. also thank you yoshi you were amazing too thank you for being here and uh i hope you have oh, the rest of your day as well i was mixing up breaks i was ghost tricks after the third after we finished the third game that's right i think we mentioned that as like we mentioned after we finished the trilogy we're gonna have like a, a bit of a longer break from ace attorney just to yeah, we, 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 we talked about, so, but in between these games, we've talked about doing, so, like, last time we did a couple sessions where we did some, like, drawing games, um, and I think between two and three, I want to take a couple weeks to, like, do something else as well, just, like, maybe a few weeks or a month, um, and then between, and then after the trilogy, we were going to take a longer break, and we tossed a few ideas out there, Undertale and Ghost Trick were a couple of ideas, and I think we had another couple of ones, too, but I don't think we'd officially yeah, decided. Yeah, Monopoly. And oh, Ari yeah, yeah, mentioned Monopoly. all the Xenoblade cuts. Oh, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, I mean, to be fair, we'd have... <laughs> no, 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 that's too... no. I'd make a joke, but I'd it'd be tooting my own horn a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say it off stream. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, so we'll do something. We just have a, we have we still got a little bit of a ways to go before we gotta decide exactly what we're doing there. So, um, you know, and also, who knows? In a year from now, we might all be have like weirder schedules or something too. So, who knows? Um, but yeah, I mean, we're almost done. We got just a few more sessions left of this one. I'm so excited to see how it turns out. It's crazy stuff today. It was so yeah. fun though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'm holy yeah. shit. This is this yeah. is Yeah. Really intense. Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you guys so yeah. much for joining us today. Uh, I hope we are getting close to going back to the court. There was a distinct lack of judge today. Yes, yes, judge should be back next time. With, uh, hopefully we'll be back next week if we're not whenever the next time we come back should should be back to court. So yeah. um so Mark should You're, be back. Yeah. Um, I wish him well. Uh, he still still got a little bit of COVID hangover stuff, and uh, apparently there's a heat wave right now. So all you British people, hang in there. I am it's, I am surviving. It's, not, it's not just the British. Oh really? Yeah, it's it's oh, the entirety yeah. of Europe. Oh wow, yeah, I'm so yeah. Sorry. I that's that's no fun. I just kept hearing the British people on my timeline talk about it, so I just assumed it was it was like the uh, British are melting. The British are melting. The British are melting. <laughs> <laughs> I have a skill oh issue. To be fair, I yeah, think everything. Yeah, just have a skill issue. That's Simply fine. repair the ozone. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, don't worry, don't worry. Um, as soon as we sink to the depths of hell, um, then we'll be dead, and we don't have to worry about anything else. Look, I'm just Isn't saying. Isn't the depths of hell just Britain, anyways? True. true. Look, I want. Look, God, I want. Wait, the... No, I don't want the entire world to sink to Britain. Never mind. Look, oh, I, want, look I want. <laughs> I, I want. So I want the ozone to come back so we can have like this, like the you know those old striped swimsuits that's like the guys yes. used to wear back in the sixties oh and God, stuff, it's... or like I I want to, but they're not practical because it's too fucking hot in the summer for anywhere now. That's but I true. miss, I want to rock that fashion. I want to yeah. <laughs> like wear them the in the winter. Man. No, no. Go skin, do the go skinny do digging you... in a frozen lake. Yeah, do oh polar plunge. Skinny dipping and wearing skinny dipping would mean then you're not wearing Nothing. the swimsuit. Okay. So therefore that's, that that wait, cancels that's out. Okay, that's Go an oxymoron. <laughs> <laughs> Is that Schrodinger's skinny dip? <laughs> <laughs> you turned up on that. skinny dipping until you, you look into wearing... the water. <laughs> you're either naked or wearing a striped swimsuit until you come out of the water. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is your is your swimsuit going to like dissolve in the water? Oh, yes. Uh -huh. That's like a that's like a freaking comedy movie prank where it's like I swapped out a swimsuit for one that dissolves in water. Why would you do that? <laughs> All righty. Well, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Uh, keep an eye on the Discord for when we will be back. And love you all. Stay safe. Stay cool if you can. And we'll see you guys next time. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. Bye, -bye.